Number two, Sarah bought four pounds of potatoes. She will feed her family one third pound of potatoes each day. How many days can Sarah feed her family potatoes before they are all gone? So my question is wanting to know how many days can Sarah feed her family potatoes before they're all gone? And so I'm going to start with my basic questions of who's in the story and what do they have? The person in the story is Sarah. And what does Sarah have? Sarah has four pounds of potatoes to share with her family. So I'm going to start by drawing four pounds of potatoes. And she will feed her family one third pound each day. So I'm going to take my first picture because this represents my four pounds. And I'm going to cut it into three equal parts. So every time I have a third, I'm going to have one day of being able to share those potatoes with my family. So right now, this first picture, I can feed my family for three days. But I have three more pictures that I need to cut, and cut apart. So I'm going to go to my second picture, and I'm going to cut it into thirds as well. One third, two thirds, three thirds. And that would be three more days for a total of six days. I'm going to continue cutting my models cutting this into thirds. This would be day seven, day eight, and day nine. Day seven, day eight, and day nine. So right now we have nine days that we can feed our family the potatoes. And I'm gonna go to my last model and I'm gonna cut it into four thirds as well. So this would be picking up with the days, day 10, day 11, and day 12. So how many days can I feed my family? I can feed my family 12 days. So when I go back and I look at my answer choices and I see the answer choices, first of all I see a twelfth of a day. Well that hardly makes any sense because I wouldn't want to feed my family a twelfth of a day. That, that would be like no time. I'm going to get rid of that. That doesn't even make good sense. One and one third days, that doesn't make sense either. Then I have my options of 12 days or 16 days. And I can see from the picture that we have drawn on our paper that we have 12 days. So I'm going to go ahead and circle 12 days. And so if I really want to think about what is happening here, I'm taking my four pounds of potatoes and I'm separating that means I'm dividing them evenly into one third portions and if I take four pounds and I divide them into one third portions I will get 12 portions I will get 12 days and the other thing I want to think about is I'm noticing that when I see the number four and I see the number three and we have the division here, that that is a multiplicative action. So I should see a multiplicative relationship. And I do, because four groups of three would give me 12. So this makes good sense.